But first, Sacramento nightlife coming to a halt. A year marked by violence tonight. Some downtown nightclubs are keeping their doors closed this weekend. Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. We're also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento. Tonight, two normally bustling clubs are temporarily closed after last weekend's deadly mass shooting outside a venue at 15th and L. They say the closure is out of respect for the victims. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley with what's being done to keep people safe downtown. 2022 has been a troubled year for downtown Sacramento. A mass shooting on K Street claimed six lives, and most recently, a shooting on July 4th that injured four and killed a local football coach. This is taking a toll on us. 31 year old Greg Grimes coached at Intercom High School, just the latest life lost, forcing another grieving family to bury a loved one. We're never going to be the same. Two nearby nightclubs, Park Ultra Lounge and The Mix, announcing they'd be closing their doors temporarily to respect victims and allow staff time to heal. It's unfortunate. I feel like a lot of people, the, the nightlife will change. Melody Shia is visiting downtown Sacramento for the weekend, concerned clubs aren't opening. A lot of downtown, midtown kind of bank on a nightlife after, you know, where uh, the teenagers and the college kids come out, but. We've interviewed downtown businesses in the past about security measures, including face recognition software. We're going to be scanning everybody's IDs and photographing them as they walk in. Clubs share the information and flag anyone who poses a problem. We can ultimately make a decision based off of how egregious the act was. But is that enough? Those kind of like security measures are like a byproduct of what's to happen, uh, what did happen, but there needs to be preventative measures. Sacramento police say they are beefing up patrols in the evening hours and they are in contact with private security companies.